Hi, how do I join Army Dental Corps? Is one of the questions we are asked frequently. So we decided to come up with this video. It is also among the 19 options after videos which we came up with. If you have not seen that video, do go and check it out. It is also there in the description below. If you are interested in knowing more about Army Dental Corps, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Satish Kumar and this is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Today we are going to talk about Army Dental Corps. That is, when the vacancies usually come out, the eligibility criteria, the interview, the medical test, and for how long or duration this job offer is. Before we move forward, a shout out to Dr. Vinayak Torat for his Instagram page, The Artist Dentist, and to Dr. Arman, who runs a YouTube channel known as Wasn't That Funny? Now, moving back to the Indian Army Dental Corps. If you want to apply, first you need to give your NEET exam. They come out with vacancies usually once a year since the past few years. Prior to that, it used to be twice a year. It usually comes out between the months of April and June. There are approximately 20 to 65 vacancies per year. Now that depends on how much requirement they have at that year. Once you apply, you will be called based on your merit list. A lot of you will be thinking, but I haven't got very good marks that I can get into a PG seat. Will I be able to get into the Army Dental Corps? Yes, it is possible because the ranks quite drastically drop after a lot of people get into PG government colleges, then PG private colleges, and many think of repeating a year. Some completely the, drop the idea of doing post-graduation. So by the time the vacancies of Army Dental Corps are out, the marks tend to fall. So yes, you will still have an opportunity to try for the Army Dental Corps. Next is the eligibility criteria. The eligibility criteria includes 1. In your final year, you should have got at least 55% of marks. 2nd, you should not be over 45 years of age at the 31st of December of that year. For example, if you're applying in the year 2021, you should not be more than 45 years of age at December 31st, 2021. Similarly for 2020. You need to have completed your internship, have a dental registration certificate and be medically fit. What is medical fitness in terms of defense? We will be explaining later. So once you're shortlisted, you're called into the Army Dental Center for an interview or a specified date. This interview happens in New Delhi. So what happens in the interview? In the interview, about five to seven Army officers ask you questions. These questions revolve around the following set. The first set is usually about you. They're about your personality. These questions would include your background, your interests, and all questions which would help them analyze your personality. The reason is they want to know whether you are an adequate fit to join the armed forces. Then is the second set of questions. The second set of questions usually is about dentistry. They will ask you any topic under the roof. It might be pharmacology, it might be anatomy, they want to know how would you treat patients who come with certain symptoms and certain preconditions. It is basically a test of your dental knowledge. Then comes the third set of questions. They are usually related to general knowledge. This general knowledge is mostly about current affairs of national importance and maybe news which involves the Indian Army. So the question is, how many pass the interview and enter into the medical fitness? The first thing is, 
if there are about 10 vacancies usually 100 people are called for the interview that is 10 times the number of vacancies out of which around 30 pass the interview and are called for the medical fitness that is about three times the number of vacancies now what all do they check during the medical fitness in no specific order they check the following things first is your eye they'll check if you have color blindness if you have color blindness you're permanently rejected if you have got done LASIK recently you might be temporarily rejected what is temporary rejection mean it means you can apply again for the medical fitness however if you're having extreme myopia then you might be permanently rejected they also check your dental health in dental health if you have a perfect set of teeth you don't have to worry if you've got restorations done you have an implant you have got crowns you've got bridges still you don't need to worry they only check in case of active lesions that is if you have cavities or if you have a periodontal infection so it is better to get your teeth checked and treated before you go for the medical fitness similarly they also check your ears there's a surgeon who comes in and checks your entire body he checks if you have anything like knock knees pigeon chest if you have hernia or any other bone defects the reason is to see if you're medically fit to join the army other than that the routine height weight chest blood pressure and blood test, the routine ones are done. After the interview and the medical test, the list of qualified candidates are put on their site as well as they contact you personally. Before moving further, if you like our video and the content we produce, please do not forget to hit the like button below. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe to our channel because we'll be coming up with such content of careers after dentistry continuously. The next question is, what is the duration of the short service commission once you get in? Initially, it is for a period of five years, which based on your performance is extended for another five years and then four years, taking the total duration to 14 years. But during your short service commission or SSE, you can try to get in to the permanent commission. For that, you need to have at least two years of experience in SSE and you need to be below the age group of 30 years for BDS graduates and 35 years for MDS graduates. Once you get into the permanent commission, if you're a BDS graduate, you can apply for MDS through an Army Dental College as well. For more details, you need to visit this website. I'm Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed.